Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming to the show. Yes, it's going to be an interesting show tonight because none other than our faith, <laughs> Candy Burris, honey, has been laying them up and putting them down. Okay, laying them out and putting them to rest. Yes, while Candy is doing her press tour, talking about Roa as well as Candy and the Gang shows that she's both premiering on. She had to let Miss Cynthia and Miss Portia know, but basically Cynthia, because Cynthia had brought it up and Candy took it home for her. Cynthia told Candy, you were talking about me, and you were saying that you were glad I wasn't on the show no more. And then I guess she thought Candy was going to backtrack, backpedal, or whatever. She said, girl, I'm going to tell you, it's a better show without you. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Get her told Candy in no uncertain terms. Okay, in no uncertain terms. I don't know what uh, Cynthia was basing it on, that she was going to get the best of Candy. But Candy was like, uh-uh, honey. I know you're trying to say what you're going to say. You're trying to throw me under the bus. But I'm going to throw you back under the bus and keep you there. Okay. So she just played nice, nasty, and said, well, you know, hey, the show is like popping. It's better than when y'all were on the show. That's all I got to say. And I was like, damn, you trying to get Kenya and Cynthia back together, you and Eva. And it seems like you and Cynthia are going to be out. Because I did see Cynthia's face and it wasn't all that. Okay, and I'm like, Cynthia, you and Portia are the most begginest people about getting back on the show that y'all pretty much said y'all were tired of. You simply said you were tired of drama. And you needed a less stressful, drama-free life at this point. Okay, but we know, we know you hurting for that money. Because anybody that ain't hurting for no money, they're going to be like, I passed. I had my run, but that's just not me right now. Okay? So I'm like, mm, I don't understand, Cynthia. They offered you a friend role. And that could have been uh, residual money coming in for you. But, like I said, you've been talking to the wrong people, talk to the wrong people, and you ask out. All right? But Candy may throw you a bone. She may, you know, tip the scale in your favor to come back again as a friend of the show, which you should have took that from the beginning. But it just is what it is, okay? Candy making moves and doing what she feels she needs to do. So when she exits off uh, stage right, stage left, she's going to be very well taken care of. Okay? I'm just saying. Then, she did not only just throw Cynthia up on the bus. She went on and included Portia as well. I was like, okay, that's right. Pick them up and throw them down, girl. Pick them up and throw them down. But uh, Cynthia needs to sit her little butt down somewhere. Now, I did see something where Cynthia is supposed to be on a uh, um, Lifetime movie or some type of show where she's supposed to be playing a mother of some child that's kind of a rebel or some sort i gotta look it up but mike her husband was interviewing her about her new show or a new um uh, a new what do you call it it's not a play but it's like a i ain't gonna say sitcom but it's just like a a story that she's on a film that uh, Lifetime put together and Cynthia's supposed to be one of the actresses in there. But like I said, the little part that they showed was just like a little cameo scene. So I don't know. She's talking about she always loved Lifetime and this, that, and third. You know, that's, that's just like our P PR talk. When you are uh, gracious that someone wanted you on their platform and you got to go back and say, oh, I always wanted to do this. I always want to do that. I'm like, okay, Cynthia, drop the act. We know you're knocking at the door or your people are knocking at the door for you to get in. So it just is what it is. You got in. It seems like mm, you played the part. Okay, but I had to see a little bit more. So, I'm going to try to look for that. It's on Lifetime. And, shoot, I don't forgot what the title was uh, to the show. If anybody knows what I'm talking about, put it down in the chat. 
that will help me out immensely if when I try to go and find it if I feel like I want to do so. Uh, like I said, it wasn't that big of a part and it didn't really strike my fancy. I was just trying to figure out why is Mark uh, Mike interviewing her. Did nobody else, no other outlet want to pick her up? Okay, but it is what it is. He's still trying to do that entertainment, uh, YouTube um, interviewer. Trying to use those skills like he did in the sports section. But he's trying to get his feel, his feet, his hands, his body into the uh, industry where he talks about or he talks and interviews celebrities or reality stars uh, when they doing other things other than what they were initially known for. So, yeah, we got to be messing, honey. We got to be messing. And pretty much, um, who was it? <laughs> Excuse me. I think the Jasmine brand had it. Uh, USMagazine.com had it. And page six is where I'm going for my resource of uh, candy getting uh, Cynthia together. About, yeah, the show is doing real well. And uh, once it's being uh, shown in May, I believe they're coming back. Uh, people going to see why they should miss you and Portia and definitely not Nene. Because they are bringing the drama, what we're used to seeing, and, you know, it just is what it is, okay? So, she kind of breasts Cynthia the wrong way, and I saw her facial expressions and all that. So, I'm like, you thought you had a friend in Candy? Mmm. Might want to pick your can uh, you might want to pick your friends a little bit more cautiously. But like I said, don't bite the hand that feeds you. You're going to try to use Candy to get back on the show, which... You didn't have to if you would have just told them people at Bravo and signed it. Excuse me, contract. And went on about your business. But like I said, it just is what it is when we're dealing with Cynthia. But with Portia, herself and her team are trying to knock down those Bravo doors as well. And she just needs to sit her ass down too and just let them come to her. That'll be a better fit because, I mean, you do have your billionaire husband and you should be on easy street. And you shouldn't be knocking at nobody's doors. Anything, you should be picking up a project and trying to see how you can make more revenue with your own brands your own goods stop running to you know somewhere you already done beat down before okay they might just simply be tired of you and just don't know which way to tell you that your so services are no longer needed okay i don't know why get your own thing going portia and cynthia stop knocking down these older doors that y'all were a part of go look for something new fresh and get yourself started somewhere else this was just a platform y'all had for umpteen years okay not something y'all was supposed to retire in Woo! i don't understand why my seasoned women are not adjusting to their age and sometimes entertainment and regular jobs don't want you anymore so it's you got to play your hand right uh, you were asked to leave, but to be a part of the show still as a friend. You should have took it and went with it and, and let it be. Portia, she had the opportunity. And they probably uh, just did Portia just strong, too. They probably said, well, we need to cut her salary. Let's offer her a spinoff and see if it does well. If it does well, she's on good, easy street with us. But it's a different revenue source we're going to capitalize on. But if she's bad, we can get rid of her. And we don't have to worry about paying her that ridiculous salary we were paying her before. So, to look at it from both sides, I think Bobo kind of screwed Portia over. But she wasn't good enough to see the forest for the trees. So, she definitely went sideways and look where we are with her now. She's in the uh media social media streams every other day look like about her or her pr people or over there big and bra bravo to let her back but again it's just it is what it is okay but let's get on into the article that page six had wrote up on miss candy burris trying to set cynthia straight and speaking it loud enough that Portia can hear it as well uh the person that 
uh, put the article out for page six was named Evan Real. He titled it Candy Burris Why Roa Will Survive Without Cynthia Baylor and Portia Williams. Okay, I'm like, give it to me, girl, give it to me. But anyway, it goes on to say, even with two peaches gone, the Real Housewives of Atlanta is juicier than ever. An exclusive interview with page six veteran cast member Candy Burris explains why season 14 of the hit Bravo reality show will survive the following departures of. Miss Cynthia Bailey and Miss Portia Williams. Okay, listen, they are dearly missed, but the season will survive without them. Burris 45 says while promoting her latest Bravo spinoff, Candy in the Game. Now, is that some major shade, or that's the whole damn tree falling on both Cynthia and Portia? Okay, I think it's the whole damn tree. How Candy chopped that shit down. I'm just saying. She's like, Timber! Boo, 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 boo. And it hit both of them and knocked their asses out. Okay, but that's not in the commentary of this article. That's in my commentary. But going back to the article, it says, They are definitely loved by the fans, and coming into this, I was kind of nervous doing it without them. But it turned out that we needed needed this change on this show. Now did you see what kind of uh, said that? We needed this change on the show. Meaning they ex Cynthia's uh, Bailey contract and the amount she was getting paid plus Portia which is probably lucrative as well. And they got how many girls coming back in? They had Sanya. Uh, who was the new girl? Sheree. Uh, Marlo bringing her on with a substantial pay raise I'm sure. And you know that was enough compensation. They had just really took those two salaries and merged them and got some fresh, you know, we're not fresh faces because the only fresh faces that's really coming in is uh, Tanya. Not Tanya, I'm sorry, uh, Sanya. Okay, but it just is what it is, okay? But anyway, um, she said, uh, but it turns out that we needed this change on this show. We needed to mix things up and turn out, re and it turned out really, really great. Bailey and Williams ex exits uh, made room for a systemic, systemic cast shakeup that includes the addition of former Olympian Sanya Richards Ross, the overdue promotion of Marlo Hampton from beloved friend of to full time housewife, and yet another reprisal for Real Housewives of Atlanta, the OG Sheree Whitfield. Okay, Burris goes on to tell the patients that this trio, along with her, Returning co-stars Kenya Moore and Drew Sador gave it their all while filming the next installment of the show. When I say the girls came to slay this season, they came to slay. She enthuses, adding that Richards Ross, 37, got caught up in the drama. I mean, you can't help it on this show, right? Asked Burris, who has appeared on Atlanta since 2009 season 12. I mean, 2009 season two. I love the fact that she was genuinely trying to build real, real friendships amongst this group. Whereas I feel like in the past everybody got so comfortable with just only being around each other when we had to film. Meanwhile, Burris notes that Whitfield 52 brought a new energy to Real Housewives of Atlanta that her past stinks may have lacked. Uh, the Sheba Charade designer previously appeared on season 1 through 4 and returned as a friend in season 8 before signing back on as a full-time cast member for, for seasons 9 and 10. Whitfield skipped out on the next two seasons but briefly appeared on season 13. She came back more than transparent than she ever was. Uh, she used to be really private, no doubt. She shared some things in the past, but this year... He just was extremely vulnerable, and with all that she was dealing with, says Burris, noted that Whitsfield's relationship with ex-con Tyrone Gillums will take center stage. Sheree shares so much of her personal life. Um, the Don't Think I'm Not singer elaborates. She was just being true, to, uh, true. She was just being her true self in a way that I feel like everybody's going to root for her from the beginning to the end. And then there's Hampton, 50, I mean, Hampton's 46, who's Burris bumped heads with. We were saying some really mean things to each other. Let's just say that she's an explosive fight caught on camera. 
Uh, I don't even know how they're going to edit it to be clean, but it was terrible. However, Burris clarifies that our friendship with Hampton is back on track today. Telling page six, we're cool now, but there was a moment where I wondered how we were going to come back from the fight. Hampton wasn't the one who tried to battle Burris. More 51 came for her as well. Those, um, though Burris notes that her longtime pal was unsuccessful. She tried to come for me one time. I gave it back to her. You can't try me. I'm not going to. I'm not going for it. Burris says with a laugh. Uh, go try that over there, but don't try it with me. Try Jesus. Don't try me. That's how I feel. I'm like, girl, don't even try Jesus, all right? Because he already know what you planning on doing it before it comes into your mouth your mouth and your mind as an idea to say it get it straight candy don't talk about the lord like that girl but anyway despite their scuffle the women were able to patch things up over the years kenya and i have really built a real friendship like we really call each other check on each other bird says for more she pissed me off a little bit but i think the thing about us is we only go so far because we have a genuine love for each other the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 14 has yet to receive a premiere date. Candy and the Gang air Sunday at 9 Eastern Standard Time on Bravo. On okay? but really I think it's going to be 9.15 tomorrow. I think they said due to, I think the reunion of Salt Lake City or something is going to run over a little bit. So, but anyway, that was cute. I thought that was cute. Oh, um, Candy trying to come for her beloved friend that she's trying to bring back on the show. I was like, girl, the twists and turns the reality shows put us through, honey. But Candy says she's still getting her chip. Mm-hmm. She is still getting her chip. While y'all got aced out the situation, and she's going to continue to keep getting her chip until Bravo finds a way to go on and promote her to center stage where she's at that boardroom making um, decisions of who coming, who going, or what they need to bring to the show. Or she's going to be that uh, creative director that I was telling y'all about. So we'll keep watching for that. We will keep watching for that and see if my source actually was on point. Okay. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Candy Burst came to slay both Portia Williams and Cynthia and said basically uh, you tried it but we got rid of you and you're not coming back <laughs> maybe for cynthia but she don't see it for portia at all and i do mean at all okay y'all might have thought she was forgiving portia but she forgave her but she ain't forgot okay just like them uh scott sisters from escape she may have said okay in public I uh, forgive you because she wanted to be politically correct but in reality and when she's off um, when she's out, out not filming or she's off the show and not filming she living her best life not liking them sisters at all and ain't trying to grease their pocketbook with no De Niro okay which is, is what it is she said to herself she uh uh and try to say can we get another escape uh situation going on where we follow we have cameras follow y'all she said no ma'am no sir no lord no we can't do that it's too stressful <laughs> like candy don't want to drop money in nobody pocket unless she deems them necessary and they okay with her okay but between Nene trying to shade her as well as Portia somewhat co-signing as well. She ain't got time for them helpful. She said, uh-uh. They can keep her knocking, but they cannot come in just as long as she's one of the gatekeepers. She like, uh-uh. Definitely not Nene. How Nene been showing up and showing out negatively for her and posting on uh, uh, people's uh, comments under the comment section. Or whatever's going on or a tweeting or whatnot and trying to make her look like a fool and feel like a fool she said no ma'am we will not be letting nene back in this camp she can go to zeus network or anywhere or we call her own or lifetime which cynthia's trying to knock on that door or has knocked on that door because they did film with her on that particular uh episode that they were showing on lifetime but just google and see let me know okay uh, but that's all I have for this video guys um, Candy is showing up Showing out and kicking names And kicking asses okay In her mind anyway 
and I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.